So year one. Hi Dyson. Okay. I was so excited. Today we are going to be looking at our beam. And this is beyond exciting, okay? So let me tell you. <laughs> By now, the beam should be about this big. Not very big. <laughs> but some sort of amazing magic <laughs> has happened, some science magic. And I don't know how it's happened. It's just happened. This science magic has happened in my house and our bean is huge. Would you like to see? <laughs> it's so big. Okay. How big our, be our beanstalk is. I physically can't believe it. I was expecting our bean to be about this big. And even our smallest bean is this big. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Look, our tallest bean has grown past the height of our castle. This is it's crazy and unbelievable. Can you believe it? I can't. Okay. Let me show you. Do you remember we also we we also um planted some beans in a jar? Do you remember? And that was so that I could show you what the roots look like under the soil. Okay, and that's worked as well. So here's our jar with all of the beans <laughs> growing really big out the top. They should not be growing that big, but somehow they are. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one out and show you what the roots look like. So do you see that? So under the soil, let's get our bean stalks here. Under the soil there, that is what is going on. Isn't that crazy? So that is what's happening under the um, under the soil, isn't it amazing? Right. Okay, let me share my screen. Okay, and we'll get started. Okay, we've got three things that we need to do today. Um, the first thing is looking at the second week of our bean growth. So do you remember last week we drew what our bean looked like, didn't we? And it didn't look like anything because it hadn't grown out of the soil yet. Yeah? Now, week two is this week, okay? And what I'd like you to do is pause the video and um, draw what our bean looks like. I'll show you again. Okay, we have four seedlings in our bean, in our bean pot, and then we're gonna measure them. They're not two centimeters. They were meant to be two centimeters, but they've grown so big. Okay, so I'd like you to pause the video. Let me stop sharing again, and I will show you what our bean stalks look like. Oops, are you still there? Oh yeah, there you are. And here you go. So I'd like you to draw this, okay? Pause it now so you can see what the beans, beans look like. Okay, we now need to measure our beans and for that, we need a ruler, okay? So here, I've got a ruler, okay? And this is what we need to do. We need to start from zero centimeters Put zero at the bottom of our beanstalk and then measure to see how tall it is. So I think we should measure the biggest one, don't you? So I'm going to put the ruler at the bottom of the beanstalk and then put my finger at the top to see where the beans reached. OK. Oh, my goodness. They have reached... 20 centimetres. Wow. Okay, so 
on our drawing, on your drawing, you now you need to write there are four seedlings, and then you need to write twenty centimeters. I can't believe they're twenty centimeters. This is amazing. Okay. Once you pause me, once you've done that, come back because we've got some more learning to do. Okay. Great. Be back. Well done. Okay, let's keep going. So we now need to learn about trees. And we know the different parts of a tree, um, but we need to learn a little bit more, okay? <clears throat> so have a look at these pictures. What is happening in these pictures? Can you have a think? Could you talk to your adult or maybe talk to a teddy bear or something and tell them what's happening? Okay, can you see that in these different pictures, we've got different things happening on the tree. So we've got lovely blossoms here, lovely, beautiful green leaves here, beautiful orange and yellow leaves here, and then no leaves here. Peculiar. Okay. So this is because it's a different season. So here we've got exactly the same picture of exactly the same tree in the different seasons. So this season is spring. This season when everything goes orange is autumn. This one here when it's green and luscious is summer. And this one winter. Good. Okay, now there are two different types of tree. Deciduous, deciduous, that's a big word, and evergreen, evergreen. And they're, they're different types of tree, okay? Now, what do you think the word evergreen means. Why do you think they're called evergreen trees? I'll give you a clue. It's in the name evergreen. Well done. If you said it's because they're always green all year round, spring, summer, autumn and winter, the trees are always green. Evergreen. Well done. So evergreen trees keep their leaves all year round. Okay, deciduous trees, they lose their leaves every single year. So you might have noticed that on trees outside when you've been on a walk. You might have noticed that some trees lose their leaves and some trees keep their leaves, don't they? It's very um, strange how they're so different. So in the autumn, the leaves on deciduous trees change colour and fall off, and then they grow back in the spring. Okay, so um, let me move that. So an evergreen tree, oh, we've said that already, an evergreen tree keeps its year, uh, leaves all year round. Some examples of this are pine trees, fir trees, like Christmas trees, yeah, like these. Fantastic. Okay, what's a deciduous tree? Can you tell me? Good, deciduous trees lose their leaves in winter. So here's some examples, birch, oak, horse chestnut. Okay, they're different types of tree that all lose their leaves in the winter. Okay, so, it's going to stop sharing a minute. I'm going to show you a video. Before I show you the video, actually, um, here we go. We need to look at the similarities and differences between evergreen trees and deciduous trees. Now, the main difference, if you look just here, 
is with the shape and size of the leaf. So evergreen trees usually have small spiky leaves like this. If you've ever felt a Christmas tree leaf that small and spiky like that. Whereas deciduous trees have bigger leaves and flatter leaves just like this. Okay, now I'll show you the video. So your task for, your second task for today is next time you go out on a walk, what I would like you to do is go on a tree hunt. So that means having a look around and seeing if you can spot the difference between an evergreen tree and a deciduous tree. Maybe you could make a video of you looking at deciduous trees and evergreen trees, or you could even go out into your garden and have a look there, okay? And that's exactly what I did. So let me show you a video. Here we go. Now, this was me a little bit earlier today. I'm outside in my garden year one. I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> and can you see, I have evergreen trees in my garden. I don't have any deciduous trees. There they are. Lots and lots of evergreen. Um, but if you look over there, over my fence, there's some deciduous trees. So, you can see the difference. These ones haven't got any leaves on, they're deciduous, and these ones have leaves all year round. They are evergreen, they are always green. Oops. Okay, so that's your challenge. You can go out at the weekend, just the next time you go on a walk, have a look around and see if you can spot some evergreen and deciduous trees okay and maybe take some pictures that'd be awesome and try and use the words evergreen and deciduous when you're talking about the trees that you see okay fantastic right so the last thing that i thought might be quite fun is to do some leaf rubbings so whilst you're out on your walk you could collect some leaves I have done that exact thing. I went outside and I collected some leaves and these like you can, they're, they're green, can you see? So they're evergreen. And we could do some leaf rubbings. So can you see these leaf rubbings here? And they've also done some bark rubbings. And what you do is you get your leaf and you put it underneath a piece of paper on your table and using either a crayon or a colored piece of paper, you color over the top of your leaf, okay? Then, let me do it really quick. Ooh. Then the pattern of the leaf turns up on your paper, can you see? And you can do it as many times as you want and make beautiful creations like these ones here. Okay, so your challenges. You, we've already done our bean drawing, so that needs to be finished for week two. I would like you to go out on a walk or go into your garden and try and talk about evergreen and deciduous trees. See if you can spot some. Okay, and then if you would like to, you can also do this fantastic leaf rubbing um, activity. It's really fun. Okay, um, right. What, if you do any of these things, please post them on Tapestry. I definitely need to see your bean drawing and I would really like to see you on a tree hunt as well. Um, and if you're extra, extra good, then this is your challenge to do some leaf rubbing art okay fantastic well done dyson i'm so excited about our bean look how tall it is <laughs> okay see you for the next lesson bye